Hello and welcome to Healthy Delights, the show that offers cooking tips and shares the health benefits of foods. Today we're going to be looking at super drinks, smoothies, healthy milk alternatives and other drinks to enhance well-being. We have in the kitchen today our nutritional consultant, Angelette, who's going to be with us and to explain all the health benefits. And we have two lovely teenagers with us today, Dion and Zane. Hi. Hello. Are you looking forward to the show? Yeah. And what about smoothies and healthy drinks? Are you used to making those? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to be doing some new ones. Are you ready? Yeah. Now we will invite you to follow the recipes and the cooking tips and all of the drinks, the smoothies, we're going to be making from Joyce's book, Heavenly Delights. We invite you to join us for this exciting show and may we drink to your health. Hello, today we're going to be making apple and ginger almond milk and I have Dion and Zane who will be demonstrating. And we're going to start off with a third of almonds that are soaked. In the recipe book, it does say peeled, but we've soaked them and Dion's sharing them between two containers so that we can make a portion for about four people. Next, we're gonna add some ripe apples that have been peeled and chopped. These are great options for teenagers because they need to increase their fruit and veg intake. We then are gonna add some ginger. So the ginger's here, so if you just add a bit of ginger to each one, that will add a real nice flavour, it's good for your digestion. And then a, a tablespoon and a half for each one. Honey's a lovely sweetener, and a, and a lot of teenagers, they like sweet things. And, and if you add honey to a smoothie, it, it's a better option, because the protein's in there, in, to, in the almonds, and that will help to improve blood sugar balance. So this is a great revision booster. So you can have it before you revise for your exams, before you do your coursework. Very good options. Um, if you add a, a cup and a half uh, of water into each container, that'd be great, Zane. Now, water's good. It's good on its own, but you can also use it in a smoothie. And this is all going to blend together nicely. And, an and a another half. So Dion, do you make smoothies at home? Sometimes. What do you put in your smoothies? Bananas and ice cream. Oh, all right. So th this is a healthier option, isn't it? Yes. So Dion's going to blend them. We're going to taste it now and you might have been able to see while it was blending that there was a little bit of flicks of almonds inside. That's great because that's the fibre that's very good for digestion. Teenagers need lots of fibre because they tend not to eat as much um, fibre because they like their chips and their crisps and their breads, white bread, so it's a real good improvement. So why don't we taste it and see? Let's have a taste. So what do you think, girls? It's very nice. Yes. Can you taste any flavours? I can taste the, the honey. Ginger. Okay. All right. Would you try this instead of your ice cream and banana sometimes? Sometimes. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. To okay. revise with the revision. With the almonds, if you don't use a cheesecloth, which is a bit like muslin cloth, to drain away the fibre, it can be a bit grainy. Or you can use almonds, like in the recipe book, um, without actually any fibre on the outside. But the fibre is good. So it's a good choice an energy booster for exams or for any other things where you need energy. We're going to be making banana almond milk today with Zane and Dion again and it's like a sports drink, something that you can bring to school if you do PE or GCSE PE or whatever qualification you do that involves sport or exercising. This is a great drink because it has bananas in it and banana is a sports food because it's rich in a substance called potassium that is great for energy. Okay girls, let's start off again with almonds and we're using soaked almonds as we did in our previous recipe. You can use a muslin cloth once you've blended it again but we're adding half a cup of water and we're going to blend it. So Zane, do you do sports at school? Yeah. I do athletics, football. 
that's it. Okay, we're going to add the banana and the honey now. And Dion, tell us, do you do sports at school? Um, well, uh, <laughs> not really. Well, apart from PE. Do you like sports? No, I oh. don't. Do you ever get tired after doing some sports? After I dance, I do. All oh, right. Oh, so dancing. So yeah. do you ever have any kind of energy replacement? Powerade. Powerade. <laughs> and that must give you, give you a lot of energy with all that caffeine inside. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> so this is a much better option because it will keep your blood sugar balanced and so that will improve your mood. And we know with teenagers, mood is very important. Zane's going to add some uh, vanilla um, mm. flavouring. But you can use vanilla extract as well. How much is it? Half so a quarter, quarter teaspoon, yeah. so just a tiny bit, because it's very strong. Go on, just a little bit more than that. A few more drops. Drop it straight in, why not? A couple more. That's it. That's quite a bit, but that's fine. <laughs> if we blend that all together, <laughs> that happens. It'll just be very, very strong vanilla flavour. Oh, lovely. That's it, Dion. Zane's just going to add one more um, cup of water. And the reason why we add it stage by stage is so that the almonds get grounded up nice and fine. Otherwise, they would be quite lumpy if we have too much water in it at once. There you go. The final blend. That's it, why don't we sample it now? So banana almond milk. Especially good for sports and PE and exercise. Let's do a little sample. Thank you, Zane. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> so instead of Powerade, let's try this. Do you like it? Yes. Good. A great sports option. Everyone likes comfort food. At the end of a long day at school or work, we like a bit of comfort. And this smoothie is a comfort smoothie. So Dion, when you get back from school, how does it feel sometimes? Uh, I want to go to bed and after going to bed and sleeping, I want to go on Facebook and not really do any work. And then... Yeah, yeah, yeah that's how <laughs> And Zane, what do you feel like? I want to go to sleep. I want to forget about all coursework in the world. Yeah. And just And sleep. just relax. Well, that's a normal kind of feeling that people have sometimes when they get home from work. And this is a great energy booster straight after school. And it's got some lovely ingredients that will just help to improve, hopefully, the way you feel. So let's start off with the almonds again. Again, we've soaked the almonds. And um, that, that makes them easier to digest when you soak them. And we're going to blend them with half a cup of water. And you can use a muslin mesh again to get rid of the fibre if you want. You can just squeeze it through. Um, you can buy it as a cheesecloth or, or just buy muslin. And Dion's going to blend that up for us. That's it, Dion. Now we're going to add some, well, carob powder. Now, carob powder is an alternative to chocolate, but sometimes people will use chocolate. But we're adding a tablespoon of carob powder and a teaspoon and a half of honey. Honey is so drizzly, isn't it, and sticky. Yeah. How do you get the honey off the spoon at home? Bang it. You bang it. That's just to give it a bit of sweetening. And then we're going to add some cinnamon, Zane. If you just add a couple of it, open it first and see how much cinnamon's in there. Okay. Um, if you take the teaspoon and take out a tiny amount and put it in. That's it. That's it. All right, brilliant. And then we're going to add the grated orange peel. So you get you get an orange and you grater it 
and it has the peel which has all the flavors in it and the natural oils which is great and then a little bit of star anise now just just half a teaspoon that's it that might be yeah that might that, don't put it back in put it straight into the into the drink just half of it half of it and then leave the rest that's brilliant let's blend that up again and then we'll add a bit more water so you can you can stop we're going to add the rest of the water now so already you can see the nice dark brown color and yeah <laughs> this will improve your strength <laughs> yeah <laughs> Then we're going to blend it one more time. Brilliant. That's it. Brilliant. So does it look good? Yes. <laughs> yes. Is it going to taste good? Nice and caramel. Now, a lot of you probably haven't tasted carob before, no. but um, it, it's considered to be an alternative to chocolate, but not everyone likes the taste. So we're gonna see if the girls like the taste today. So it's a great energy booster before summer, supper. It smells nice. Okay, shall we try it? Let's go. Mm. I like carrot. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like terry chocolate orange. Okay. Well, if it doesn't taste the same at home, maybe <laughs> add a little bit more orange, a bit more honey, and you never know. For comfort food, food boosting smoothies, try the carob orange almond milk. Now we're going to make apricot cashew milk. Cashew nuts are great because they don't have any fibre on the outside. So you can blend them directly. You don't need to filter them out and they make a nice creamy milk. They're really good at blending together because they've got a high level of starch inside. So it's a great choice for smoothies. And we're going to try something with apricots and the girls are going to help us make this smoothie. So why don't we start off with adding the cashew nuts and a bit of water to the blender. And we're going to blend it up. That's it. And we're going to add some apricots. Now, apricots are in season in the summer. And so they're great choices during the summer, or you can have dried apricots, or you can even freeze the apricots. Those are all options. They're very good sources of iron. And teenagers, especially teenage girls, need a good source of iron. So we're going to add apricots to our smoothie. We've done that. Okay, we've done that. Brilliant. They're far ahead of me. So why don't we add the next ingredient, which is some honey, a tablespoon and a half. And then Zane, why don't you add some vanilla extract just directly? Wait, wait till she's added the honey. Is it going to be as bitty as the almond one? Yeah, so add a bit more. Uh, yeah, it will still be bitty because it's got the fibre, but that fibre is good for you. It helps you reduce constipation. A lot of young people have constipation. They find it difficult to go to the toilet sometimes. So some grated, uh, oh, some orange extract. So it's a good option to have your fibre. It's good for your heart. There you go. Add a couple of drops of that. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. And then we're going to blend it again. You're doing a good job. We're going to add some more water now. <laughs> and this is a great summer smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> you can either, even use it as a kind of butter, actually, as a spread on bread, if you don't add any extra water. <laughs> I 
think that's enough. We're going to taste it again. So it's got a nice orangey colour. You can see how creamy it is. Brilliant. Well, let's have a taste. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's a great taste. So this is a good summer option for a smoothie, especially when you're out in your garden. A, a summer option apricot smoothie. I'm going to be making a raspberry cashew nut milk with almonds and cashew nuts to give a blend of health benefits and raspberries, which are a great summer fruit. So girls, if you add the cashew nuts and almonds together and we'll start to blend. The great thing about leaving the fiber in the almonds is that it can help the bacteria in your tummy. And you might not think that's important, but as teenagers, you need to have good bowel flora too, or it can affect your breath, it can affect something called flatulence, and it, it has lots of different effects. So we want to have good bowel flora. Great. Now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. We're going to add all of those raspberries. And what colour is it going to make it, girls? Pink. A nice dark pinky colour. Nice fresh raspberries. These were frozen actually, so if you pick them in summer and freeze them, they freeze really well, raspberries do. A tablespoon and a half of honey. And then we're going to add vanilla extract once Dion has added the honey. Make it nice and tasty. This is a great breakfast option when you're running out to get to school, you're a little bit late. Make it the night before. Do you ever, are you ever running out of your house for school, Dion? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Every day. Every day. So this is a good option if you're in a massive rush. But breakfast is the better option. So let's blend it all together. We're going to add the rest of the water now, Zane. So one more cup of water. Do you ever skip breakfast, Dion? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> and Zane, do you skip breakfast? Not really, I don't like I, I usually run out the house with the breakfast in my hand. Yeah, so this is an easy option if you know you're going to be in a rush. Because it's got protein and fruits in it, which is a great start for breakfast. Go on. Breakfast really helps you to concentrate through the day. And some students I worked with who were teenagers actually said it helped them concentrate on their coursework in the evening. So breakfast affects your whole day, so it's a brilliant option. It's a very pretty colour. Thank you, Dean. Thank you. Let's try this raspberry cashew smoothie. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Can you taste the raspberries? Yeah, they're very um, sweet, these raspberries are. And tasty. Mm -hmm. A very good breakfast option for teens on the run. Vanilla cashew milk is a great option. Some kids love to eat vanilla ice cream. This is an alternative healthy option with cashew nuts, vanilla and honey. So let's begin by putting the cashew nuts and the water into the blender. You can make cashew cream as well. Um, if you don't add a lot of water, you can make it as a cream and have it with porridge or other options. Okay, let's add the rest of the ingredients, which is just one and a half tablespoons of honey, a tiny bit of cinnamon and some vanilla. So about a teaspoon of vanilla. So do you like vanilla ice cream, Zane? 
Um, no, not really. Okay, do you like ice cream? I like ice cream, but I prefer it to be um, different flavour. Okay, so you could add other flavours to this as well. But this is if you like vanilla. Well done. So let's just add a tiny bit of cinnamon, a couple of shakes of cinnamon. That's it. And then add quite a bit of vanilla for the flavour. Maybe four or five drops. And we'll blend it up. Don't move it around too much. That's it. It's nice and white and creamy. Brilliant. Wonderful. It's a nice white colour, isn't it, Dion? Yeah. Looks like coconut. Milky. So you could actually add coconut yeah. milk as well and make a coconut milk smoothie as an option. But let's taste it. Mm. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's like sweet. Honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great option. Okay, as an alternative to vanilla ice cream, a great snack filled with nuts and honey and vanilla. A great smoothie option. In the UK, most children, 80% of them, don't even have two portions of fruit and vegetables per day. This fruit smoothie has at least two portions of fruit, so it's a great start to the day, and it's called Fruit Power. So let's begin, girls, with one ripe banana, which we're going to put into the um, blender. So, Zane, if you peel that, and then we're going to put in a couple of strawberries. I'm going to pass a couple of strawberries. You can, you can put all of those strawberries in. That's quite a few. Then we're going to have the orange, which we're going to just put half in. Half of the orange in. See how it goes. Just push it down. And then we're going to try to blend that with a, with a little bit of water. So you can see we've got at least two portions of fruit in there already. Okay, that's it. Let's add the pineapple pieces now, because that's blended down well. And a tiny bit of cinnamon zone, that would be great. So that's at least three portions of fruit in there now. We're ready now to taste it. So that's a really easy way of having fruits in the morning. Now, to be honest, there were a tiny bit of lumps in there, but that's fine. Just remember to blend it for long enough for everything to be smooth. Now, of course, you'd have a bigger cup than this, and that would give you about one portion or a portion and a half of fruit, which is a great start to the day. So let's try it. Mm. Mm -hmm. What what flavours can you taste? The pineapple. Mm -hmm. Strawberry. Mm -hmm. And did you notice no added sugar? No honey? Nothing. So it's a great start to the day of fresh fruit with all the fibre inside as well. And I can taste the blend of fruits. It's a great fruit power start to the day. Morning power. How do you feel when you wake up in the morning? We have Dion and Zane, who are teenagers, are going to tell us how they feel when they get up in the morning. How do you feel, Dion? I want to go back to sleep. <laughs> you want to go back to sleep? Yeah. And what about you, Zane? I turn over and just 
keep sleeping. Turn over and keep sleeping. I know a lot of adults feel like that as well. And today we're going to be making morning juice to help give us the energy we need when we wake up in the morning. So let's start off with this very easy smoothie. It's a banana. So let's put the banana in. And Dion, if you add a tablespoon of honey, So we've got honey and a banana and we're going to add the milk. So Zane, why don't you add the milk and a little bit of cinnamon. Can you see how easy it is? A very straightforward morning smoothie. So blend that together, Dion. And then we'll add the orange juice at the end. Okay, we can add the orange juice now. Orange juice has vit vitamin C and that's very important for the immune system. So we're going to blend it one last time, not for very long. That's it. Let's try our morning juice. nice and smooth so it's got more energy packed into it than orange juice on its own so let's try it let's see what we think okay well it's a great morning option for a quick morning juice smoothie this is a refreshing cucumber drink, something that you can have on a summer afternoon whilst relaxing in your garden. Why not try it as a very quick energy option? Let's go girls, let's add some cucumber. Cucumber is very refreshing and it's good for reducing the blood pressure as well. And some yogurt. So we're just gonna squash that yogurt out with our hands. Usually, you would use a spoon. Um, and add some herb salt, a tiny bit of herb salt, just a sprinkle, a sprinkle. Use your fingers, okay. <laughs> it's ready now. So you could add a leaf for garnish, like this, in a bigger cup. And the, the, leaf where the leaf we're using is lemon mint. So why not try it and let's see. What do you think? It's very nice. Yeah. Very nice, yeah, refreshing. This is a refreshing cucumber drink for a summer afternoon.